Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a subject that's been popping up as of right now, where the PlayStation 5 is just somehow completely blowing the Xbox out of the water. Now, we've kind of known that in terms of sales for quite some time and overall software, but we're now kind of seeing the fact that Xbox is kind of complaining right now that they're trying to go and grasp at anything they can to go and get Microsoft to go and throw them some additional money and funding to work especially on marketing. Now, as you guys probably know, games themselves can go and sell themselves if they're a good enough game or things like Game Pass are overall a really, really cool concept in addition to the gaming sphere. But obviously the PlayStation 5 has been going and steaming ahead in the whole console market and Xbox, while it is still doing very well on PC growth, utilizing things like TV, to integrate Game Pass and other various things, there is a little bit of a smidgen and scaredness of it, I guess, for lack of better terms, that they don't have enough money and funding to go and propel the brand the way they need to. Now, we have seen a lot of money being spent on Bethesda, around $10 billion, Activision, around $70 billion, and you would think a lot of that's, like, enough but at the same time, you do need to do traditional TV ads, soccer ads, and everything else. And it seems like Xbox right now is getting frustrated on the fact that PlayStation has a lot more to go and spend on advertising. So we're going to go talk about this, talk about the drama, talk about the numbers and everything else. And hope you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy. So make sure you guys are subscribed, leave a like, and give me your thoughts as well. And a quick little bonus sellout to one of my good buddies. This is like not paid for, but just one of my homies. I want to buddy sidearms. Uh, he popped in my stream, sent me a rates, and his viewers out of my stream itself. And they had a chance to go and hear one of the world's worst ad spiels. So once again, I just want to go give a little shout out and a link down below. My buddy and of some of other content creators made a cool brand called Focus Fuel. Uh, it's a cool little caffeinated gummy. It's all around awesome, fantastic. And hopefully this is a better ad read for it. I'm not getting paid for it, but if you guys are ever into that type of stuff, then you're not into like, you know, the gamer subs or G Fuel on a cool gummy. I'll link them down below. The website's been cool. Product's dope. I had a chance to check it out. So let you guys know down below. So go dive on in also i love you side hopefully this is better <laughs> he went in my twitch stream sent me a raid and i was like yeah it's like totally like a one out of ten and in my mind i'm sitting there thinking like i'm the world's worst friend probably on the entire planet but they're definitely not a one out of ten unless you are a youtuber but they're pretty good if you guys want to check them out link down below all right let's dive on into it so we've been seeing some big big drama like x uh basically tom warren first and foremost and we've been seeing marketing and everything else highlighting the fact that xbox is been it's been like falling behind Xbox, if you guys look at other regions, such as Europe, America, UK, they are still getting sales. Like, it's not all doom and gloom, but a lot of people are anticipating or waiting for a, well, potential kind of calm down on the console. I still think we'll have a few more life cycles with it, but right now people are concerned. But we also have the Xbox's marketing boss. And EMEA admits that Sony is actually outspending Microsoft in the PlayStation marketing. They're like, they've been blessed with marketing funds that we're just not able to enjoy, says Xbox EMEA marketing director Michael Flat in a Marketing Week interview. I wrote in my notepad newsletter recently about a tipster suggests that Microsoft will stop marketing Xbox consoles in certain markets, which this is crazy. So let me go read the quote and go in and do a little bit of a deep dive into this. Sony's PlayStation is the brand's biggest competitor in the console market. So in regards to Xbox, what do you compete with? PlayStation. You do as well with the Steam Deck and Switch, but more so the PlayStation is pretty much one-to-one. -one. Similar games, I think it's a big deal. While the Switch, you know, sells Mario games, other games, whatever. Other stuff too, but you know the general vibe. And they said that they regrettably outspend us, Flat says. They're blessed with marketing funds that we're just not able to enjoy. That's totally fine. We adopt the, what I would call a more fiscally responsible approach to media investments. Now, like I said, there's other things to invest out there besides just, you know, pure marketing of like, here is just like just showing your face, like in a commercial. You have to worry about sponsoring streamers, sponsoring games in general as a whole. Uh, you have to worry about sponsoring things like soccer places. I don't know, like soccer matches, sports matches, traditional TV, billboards. Uh, anything, like really anything out there. Put it on Reddit, put it on YouTube, YouTube app, whatever it might be. And I do feel like we see a lot more PlayStation, especially traditional advertising when it comes to their games and their softwares. We usually, whenever a big game comes out, all over Twitch, I'll be seeing pre-roll ads, even on YouTube. Like sometimes you have the pre-roll ads on YouTube videos. Uh, if you guys ever do watch those, I love you. Thank you. That supports me a bunch. But when it comes to that stuff, it's like there, you need to do that. 
you need to market itself. Like, look at Coca-Cola. Look at Pepsi. They've always been very famous things where everyone knows what Coke is or Pepsi is if you're watching this video. But you always have to be reminded of what it is. Or at the same time, sometimes you know a PlayStation 5 is cool. But you may not know that the next upcoming best major PS5 game is going to be even cooler. So, like, you need to market. And it really does seem, even on the American side, from what I see casually watching and consuming online content, Microsoft doesn't really push so much when it comes to marketing. Like, they may, I mean, we know things like Game Pass exist, but I couldn't go and tell you the last time I saw a proper traditional Xbox app. Now, I'm sure they're out there, and I'm sure you guys themselves have even seen them, but I do feel like I see a lot more PlayStation ads. I've also seen PlayStation do really big campaigns, different countries, like say in Japan, they'll sometimes go do very specific events. If you guys remember, I think they had a huge, massive, like, you know, Ragnarok, like God of War Ragnarok hammer out there in like London. Huge PlayStation 5s are made, spending millions of dollars just making random things. And that's sometimes how you get people excited. You get people talking about stuff. So while Microsoft's Xbox started life following the traditional console business model, a core element of its strategy now comes in its subscription service. Game Pass, which offers a wide selection of games to download across the Xbox consoles, PC, and other platforms. We're not blessed with huge media budgets, so we're going to have to be quite scrappy, really, and quite tenacious to fight for funds that would probably go somewhere else, he tells Marketing Week. Now, this is intriguing because a lot of people, even in the comment section down below on this tweet over here from Tom Warren, saying, so a $3 trillion company is not blessed with marketing money. And I kind of think that's weird. Because I'm one of those people that I understand maybe the safety of it where Microsoft makes money in other things. Xbox is not the number one earner. But it's crazy because if you guys look at some of these saying like, hey, hey the Xbox Series X and S sales were down, which they have been on very, like consistently for over 47%. This is like back in February, but it's kind of been consistent on the trend line. But you can even see some of the main comments. Microsoft doesn't advertise Xbox. At most, you will see a commercial at a sports event or maybe YouTube. But outside of that, nothing. Yeah, the Xbox marketing team is horrendous. Game Pass isn't even really marketed that much. And people are even roasting this type of stuff too. Like, look at these comments that you can go and see. And this was four months ago. So this was like without the narrative, like as of right this second, where they don't have the money for it. Like everyone's saying, like, it's just no surprise. I love my Series X. It's mostly like console, but there's just no good exclusive titles. This is what I kind of go and expect. They don't see why the average consumer would even want to buy this over a PS5. And it's also the same time, too, where they don't really get the marketing budget, which is insane to me. Very, very insane for me because they just drop $80 billion on games. And I understand the concept of maybe not wanting to go double down. Like, I get that. I understand that. Like, it makes sense to me. Uh, but it sucks because they're like basically saying they have to go and beg. They have to fight for these funds. So it's rough. Like, I understand that, though, because you have AI from Microsoft. You have, a, you have a lot of various things out there that you have to spend money on. You have Windows. You have, like, I don't know, Bing. Like, the, the, bro, they have stuff. Like, they got to utilize it. <laughs> but at the same time, I think it's like their fourth most profitable subsidiary. So, yeah, they should still have some marketing budget, and they still have it. But I also think Microsoft is kind of doing a weird step. Because if you just drop $70 billion to get like Call of Duty and Overwatch and all that in your games, I think this is like the time to kind of double down. You go drop a 30 million and try to go a 30 billion and try to keep compete with PlayStation. Because PlayStation has money, but they're not like Microsoft money. Like Sony got money, but they're not balling out of the control. But I think it's because Sony's their number one market is PlayStation. They can justify the spending to like double down, triple down, because that's like their winner. Xbox has to worry about what AI and all these big integrated brand new emerging markets and like Microsoft, like everything else, like Windows and stuff. Like it's important. And it sucks because I think a lot of them are trying to get more promotion. They're trying to get more stuff. And it makes sense because it's rough. They're saying Sony's PlayStation is the biggest brand competitor, as we mentioned, and they outspend the Xbox. And it's just weird because I really just generally think that you would get more money. Like, I mean, duh, you, just, you do have pretty much infinite money with Microsoft, but there is a limit. And I kind of feel like Microsoft is hitting that limit. You get Call of Duty, see what you can do with it, make it organic, and go from there. 
And, well, it's weird because some people want more marketing to grow the Xbox brand, get more games and better quality options, and maybe even less raises. If you had another 5 million of Game Pass users, maybe the recent price increase would not have actually happened. So it kind of sucks. Good and bad, but sucks for Xbox that it's hard for them to get these funds and kind of mediocre for everyone else because it seems like they're not going to have a chance to market those big brand new games. And if they do, well, they have to make sure it's going to be a winner because look at Starfield. They spent a lot of money on marketing and it kind of flopped, all things considered. So I get it. Like if I was Xbox and I'm seeing PlayStation winning, although it's a smaller company, I'd be a little upset. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments on everything down below. Like I said, you guys want to go check out my buddy's lovely company, Focus Fuel. I'll put a link for that down below. I'm not getting paid for it. Just love the guy. And we have the Twitter and Twitch stream as well. I appreciate y'all for watching. And hope you guys will have a good rest of your day.